Oh, 222 died from a good dive from Koble. Panzer 4 is weakened. Sniper, uh, sure. Armor piercing rounds being fired. Great use. Look how quickly it's being destroyed. Hello, everyone. This is Grayshot117. They're bringing you a Co2. Wait. Is that barbed wire already? Did they put barbed wire automatically? That's funny. Anyway, this is a go to replay uh, in the Chaos Krieg. This is the major. Oh, uh, sorry, major. God, I'm already on a great note. The Master League 3 Chaos Krieg, which essentially means VPs are only at 250. Yes, 250 and maps are randomized. So we are currently on the map. Langreski. Yeah. Oh, God. Langreskia? Uh, I'm, I'm probably butchering that name. That's fine. What you guys are here for are two amazing players duking it out in Code 2, which includes Koble going the British and Von Ivan going the Austere. Both of these players have plenty of playtime under their belt, so we'll currently see who is able to bring dominance in this game. Von Ivan automatically going with the mighty Austrupen. Yes, bringing that into play, trying to do what he can. And, uh, yes, um, I'm, I'm pretty stoked for some more Austrian gameplay, especially backed up by a sniper, of all things. Uh, so, yes, he'll be able to have a lot of infantry that takes a lot of hits, hopefully in cover, as they're better in cover. And then an infantry unit to slowly diminish the British four-man squads, which is a good tactic. The British do have a detriment to snipers. They only have four, man, uh, four men in their squads, which means a sniper shooting them is going to be a 25% KO of that squad. So, very good to see. If they can be used effectively. Now, what do we got here? We got additional Austrian trying to take territory where he can. The British are actually taking mid, but that could be an issue. Because, yep, Sniper immediately comes on in. is like, sorry, no. And, yeah, it's going to slowly push him back. Now we got British forces on the left-hand side. Uh, trying to go for that VP. And, again, the, right now that is the main, the main concern of this game. VPs, because as it's half, you're not gonna, it's gonna be harder to have that long game and tail of the long game if you're constantly under, uh, if the VPs are just so stacked against you. So we're gonna have to see some more dramatic plays to hold them. Good job with the British infantry trying to focus on the sniper, but Austrian comes in to really help out his ally and push the enemy back. Great to see some good coverage on the support weaponry. A lot of British infantry for four man squads of the frontline infantry section. In this situation, they should be able to beat the pioneers, but the Austrian do not care. They're grabbing the VPs. So right now, they're going to start putting pressure on Koble, making him going to take the first loss of VPs for this game. Meanwhile, Sniper coming in, gets a great shot on the British infantry section, brings him down to three-man squads. Now, uh, he's pulling back, trying to get out of range of the Sniper, and also try to maybe pull the Austrian away from their better cover. Because, again, Austrian do get a small little bonus being in cover. So, if you can pull them out, get them in the open, definitely a thing you want to see. Now, Austrian are opening fire on the British infantry. Sniper retreating. Great job cutting it off. Can he finish it off? That's the question. Retreat path. Was pretty good, but unfortunately, all those infantry sections cannot hit to save their lives. Oh, man. And he's uh, he made it without taking a shot. That is a heck of a sniper. But good job by the British. They cut off the territory, removing the amount of resources currently coming on in. Excellent job there. And with that, the, yes, uh, the sniper will return fire, but uh, right now Von Ivan will lose those precious resources. Right now, we got infantry section as well, fighting the Austrupen up north. We have three squads of Austrupen now on the field, trying to do what they can. Von Ivan has upgraded, by the way, to the Light Mechanized Company, so hopefully he can provide some support equipment. Because uh, right now, it's literally all infantry section. That's all we're seeing. Five uh, front infantry section squads. Now, the question is, does he have any upgrades for them? No. He has yet to bolster their infantry squads. He's yet to do anything along those lines. So, we're not seeing uh, infantry sections at their full potential. I mean, it's a lot of resources to do so, but that is something to note. Now, the good news is he does have two VPs. So, he is retaking back control and at least bringing things a little closer together. 
So good job across the board. Good job so far in the plays in action. So far toe to toe, but I will say the sniper definitely has a little bit of a lead. Now, the th here's the thing. These Austrian men, while great, you need veteran C1 to do the medical upgrade. So he needs to get this thing healed. And I'm curious as to why he's taking a little bit of time. But as long as he doesn't get shot, he's okay. But now we're in a situation where the infantry section are returning fire. He should be fine. And he's been relatively unscathed with those infantry section bullets pretty much deflecting off him as if this sniper has a shield on him. Which, of course, is not likely to happen. But, you know, you never know with World War II technology. Anyway, infantry section healing on the along the right while additional squads find the Ostrupen. Which looks like, again, cover was placed here to sort of reduce the effectiveness of the, of the British infantry section. Move their cover in the direction of most likely where the enemy could easily line up shots to try and neutralize them. So really good job there. But unfortunately, even in cover and veteran C1, Ostrupen, not enough. Just not enough to fight infantry section. That is that is the detriment. That's why Von Ivan needs a sniper. And now is why he has a 222, which is now going onto the field and trying to chase down that infantry section. Again, it does have the auto cannon, makes it making it a prime target traversing anything of a lighter variety, such as, let's say, Universal Carrier, or even fighting, uh, uh, some, <clears throat> anything that's not tank, at least from a long distance, without taking shots itself, as it has pretty weak armor versus anything that has a decent amount of penetration. But, here's the problem, we have an armored car on the field. If he can keep the Ostrupen in sort of like a, a, a defensive perimeter around the scout car. Scout car can actually do quite a bit of damage against the armored car. But if he, if the, the perimeter is open and the armored car is able to dive and neutralize the scout car, it is GG for the 222. 100%. It would be GG. Now, uh, right now, Von Ivan doing pretty well, all things considered. Again, could be a lot worse. Alright, an armored car is now rolling on in. It's a great shot. Again, nice job at the perimeter, as I mentioned. Ostrupen making sure he can't dive, deflects the target, and keeps them off the point. So, really good to see. Now we got Ostrupen pushing against the British infantry section. Again, right now the British infantry section are in cover, so most likely they're going to be doing a lot better. But again, I'm uh, unsure. We fight bravely for the Reich. The enemy is down to 200. Oh no, L yeah. Point. British having a little bit of trouble. Sniper being targeted by the armored car. Great job there. The AEC is doing a lot of good work. At least keeping the sniper at bay. Pack gun is being brought up. And also, uh, again, you can see here, supply drop. So we got ourselves an MG34. Not bad. Again, right now, I would say... You know, any sport equipment's good because right now the British have nothing in terms of sport equipment. Which so far is helping them in terms of frontline combat. They are winning number of battles, Ostrupen having some issues. And right now, so in the frontline game, yes, the British are winning. But, hopefully with some support equipment brought up to the mix, uh, things become a little more level, a little more even. And hopefully Von Ivan can start using that Ostrupen to counteract the enemy. But I, I, I do enjoy this notion that I know a lot of talk before this tournament was the fact that Ostrupen in this game might make it so that way every single game we see Ostrupen. But what I'm seeing now, I mean, yeah, sure, they're doing well, but it's not a dominating play. Koval is doing a fantastic job with the Brits at going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Ostrupen. Now, unfortunately, this armored, uh, yeah, armored car run, uh, Pack Gun got a nice shot on it. Maybe it was a little pathfinding issue there. Trying to kill the sniper with AEC. Again, just repositioned. He's getting behind the, the the building now. Oh, can he kill the sniper? He's firing with the Quaxel machine gun and the main gun. Sniper's running. And the sniper will live with literally barely any health remaining. But he does. Ar armored car pulling on back. Needs repairs. Luckily, he did get Royal Engineers to help with that. Infantry section still holding firm, although Ostrupen slowly vetting up. Not getting a ton of kills per se, but still. Veteran C2, nothing to sneeze at with, especially with all the British infantry section already 
Only at one, but they have a lot more kills. Though they are versing the Austrian, so it's easier to kill those models. MG being pushed back. And right now we have a triple British VP cap. Very good to see. And pushing Von Ivan below Koble. Who, by the way, I forgot to mention. Uh, Koble went raw artillery. So um, that could be good to clear a lot of those support equipment locations from with artillery. And, of course, you got the Valentine, which is always a nice tank to see. And neutralizing a lot of the enemy forces. Alrighty. So, right... Great shot with the armor car. Even though it's low on health, he managed to push back to 2 2 2. Uh, that being said, it looks like Von Ivan is counterattacking, moving up his equipment to try to take mid and a lot of other key locations. Koble's going to need to think of something a little more out of the box, or he just gets his men up to five man squads. That, that, that'll do it. He did that upgrade a little while ago, but now it's actually coming to full swing as he moved most of his infantry back after battle, replenishing them, and hopefully giving them out. But, I will say this, right now a lot of them are still in need of reinforcement, and he doesn't have a ton of manpower to do that effectively. So, there's, it's a slower, uh, it's a slower push back to battle. Now, amazing, but it will help Von Ivan out in the long term, especially if he's fighting smaller groups of enemies. So, great to see there. Now, uh, all things considered, let's see, I'm just watching as he heals everything and waits. Sniper, uh, up to 17 kills. Ru oh my god. Take a few shots. Nope. Nice shot, though. Again, we got the, R uh, the AC hitting the, st oh my god, 2-2-2, two, 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 so low. Pack gun, though, pushing back the AC as well. So again, both vehicles. Taking some hits, though I will say one is a little closer to death than the other one. Alrighty. Pack on pulling on back. We do have some infantry section on the far side. But yeah, we're already uh probably what 40% through our VPs roughly with each player. And so far looking pretty good. Alright, good job across the board. But yeah, uh, right now it looks like Koble's retaking a lot of key territory points. Doing very well for himself. Alrighty. It destroys the building for good purpose. Like, nope. I mean, let me clip that. And yeah, that actually does. I mean, again, you can't. Uh, a lot of people kind of forget, but you can just ram your tank into the building. You can't go through it, but you kind of like turn it. and It'll just slowly wear and tear through the building. So something to note. Anyway, uh, looks like we have a minefield over here. Very nice setup. Again, hurting the infantry section. Oh, slowly but surely. At least you know, if it, any any manpower damage you can do to Koble is gonna help. Is gonna hurt him long term. Just simply because of the fact that it it takes so much to reinforce those infantry squads. We're all strooping. You can pop them out left and right, for the most part. Great shot with the pack. Maybe one last shot. No. We Oh my god, so close on that Von Ivan. Firing through. Very, very close. MG suppresses the infantry section, allowing for a push on left. Um, right now, Von Ivan isn't hemorrhaging as bad. He's just down one VP. But it is something to note that right now we're seeing um, a Valentine on the field. So we need to somehow counter that. Well, Von Ivan, going with the trusty Panzer IV. Now, Panzer IV will beat the Valentine and AC, mono e mono. But you combine their efforts... And I have seen them win. So the Panzer IV still needs to be watchful when in an engagement with an AEC and a, and a Valentine tank. But all things considered, more AT is sided with Von Ivan than it is with Koble. As Koble's only other AT unit is, well, their own engineers with the AT grenade. Meanwhile, all the final infantry that Von Ivan has has a Panzerfaust. You have a Pack 40. And heck, even the MG. 34 is about to get better to see one so he will have t a lot of units with an armor piercing uh, Component to them, which is gonna at least keep Koble's forces back now Here's the thing he needs to push him back in order to grab the VP And I absolutely love the fact that there's a trench on the VP along for an easy capture as they sit in their trench uh, You know relaxing and A great shot with the sniper using a shot to stun the unit forcing it back 
Meanwhile, we have additional infantry section coming on in. But a uh, sniper's still there. MG34 still there. So most likely this infantry section will be stopped in its tracks. Hopefully sniper's A-OK, -okay, because he looks like he might be trying to rush for it. Uh, yeah, he's focusing on it. Does pull it back in the nick of time. MG setting up. He doesn't have grenades, I don't think. Oh my god, I don't know what he's doing, but that unit was charging too much. Panzer IV holding back a lot of the units, and they do kill an infantry section. Great shot by Von Ivan. Now, that is the f I, as far as I can tell, that is the first loss of an infantry unit in this game. Kobol is done. He is through. He wants that sniper dead. So what is he doing? He's getting an armor-piercing sniper, the British sniper, to counter-snipe this sniper, which now has 24 kills. It is on top. On this of this game right now doing very well for itself also some mines being placed although might uh, some teller mines so if they try to do a dive we could see some uh, light vehicles exploding literally just one shot would explode it AC though getting a great shot on the Panzer 4 but pack 40 protecting protecting the Panzer 4 very well Entry section being pushed back. Great shot with the Panzer IV. Already got some, a number of good hits. More mines being placed. Weirdly placed on top of a minefield. Unless he's like, no, that S minefield's been cleared. It won't detonate my mine. Hopefully. If it does, that infantry section that's going to be there is going to die so amazingly well. Oh, 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Died from a good dive from Kobol. Panzer IV is weakened. Sniper. Uh, sure. Armor piercing rounds being fired. Great use. Look how quickly it's being destroyed. Pack 40 needs one shot on it. No! Panzer 4 is down. Valentine is down. If they kill the AEC, it will be at least a tie in my book. Nope. Pack 40 has been neutralized. That MG almost got it. Almost got the armor car, which would have saved the Panzer 4. But alas, not today. Sniper revealed himself as well. So, uh, Ron Ivan's like, oh, cool. Kobol is a sniper? All right, then. I'll deal with it. Now, that being said, yes, it is a big loss that Von Ivan lost the Panzer IV. Not, not going to sugarcoat that. Not great. But, overall, uh, Kobol is still at a detriment because he lost his Valentine tank. And, as well, a lot of his forces need replenish. They need that manpower. They need back up and running. Uh, so, what do you do? Up. Oh. No Tier 3, by the way. Artillery is coming down to neutralize this area. I guess they were trying to clear that building. Oh my god, Kobo's so low. Von Ivan doing extremely well for himself. But uh, yeah, also, Von Ivan did lose the sniper. He did lose the sniper. And looks like the infantry section is replenishing. He has a little bit of time in order before they come back in full force. But is that enough for him to hold these VPs? We will have to see. But he only needs to hold two right now, and he's getting another Panzer IV. Kobol, by the way, most likely because of, uh, well, oh, no, he hasn't even upgraded. So Kobol's at a detriment right now, ladies and gentlemen, because he hasn't upgraded the company command post. So he cannot get a Cromwell or a Firefly or any sort of medium armor to combat the Panzer IV. He's going to have to risk it with another round time. And it's not a bad unit, but that's, look... That is still a risky venture. Now, luckily, he's beefed up his AT. Now, again, the sniper has a component that can neutralize armored vehicles, or at least uh, a component of them. It's a special shot, and he is veteran C1 after killing uh, Von Ivan's sniper, I believe. We also have the Pack 40 that's now been requisitioned by the British. So, yes, the British are in a way better position in order to do a lot of damage. Panzer IV could do a lot right here, uh, or just miss. That's fine. That, that That's fine. The sniper does pull back. Infantry section just hide in their building. Uh, Ostrupa coming on in. Armored car charging. Bounces off the front. Um, probably not the ping you wanted. MG as well uh, opening fire. So right now, uh, he's pushing with the Pioneer Squad. Actually suppressing this with what? Oh, the MG's over here. Okay. Oh, they have two MG. I'm sorry. I didn't see him grab the Vickers. I think it's a Vickers, right? Uh, I'm unsure if it's a, I think it's MG42, so no. He's got himself an MG42. He didn't requisition a British, British one. Infantry section are taking this other point to cut off the fuel and this uh, capture point. Rather than going in for that one. 
Maybe he was trying to also circumvent the MG. But here's the thing. Again, Von Ivan has time. Time is on Von Ivan's side. He's played it smart. He's done a very good job at pushing against the enemy and making sure that he's been pretty much more dominating in his approach. Um, and that's going to allow him a little... Uh, li Wait, is AC dead? Oh my god, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, it died over here. I, oh, maybe it died via mine. Because that was a quick hit. So yeah, I think it died via mines. I mean, great teller mine if that was the case. Because I didn't even see an engagement. Bridge infantry as well, losing another in mid. Pack 40 now open. Ostrupin might be able to get it back. Sniper as well coming back up to the front. Oh, shoot. Something just killed Ostrupin. Valentine tank coming in from behind. Units are dying left and right. My lord. Oh, okay. Yeah, they died here. Enemy action has destroyed our forward position. No grenades yet. So, yeah, it was just not, I guess, focusing on a different front. Valentine must be very careful. He's in enemy territory, surrounded by Ostrup into Kapanzerfaust it. Panzer IV uh, pushing back the infantry section. Now the MG's going to move on in, grab that VP. He's backing on up. I don't see any Teller mines in his way. Von Ivan is crafty, though. Could have placed one. No, I don't see any. Again, really have to give it to the micro on Kobol. Sure, he can't look out for Teller mines right now, but at the very least, his micro was able to dodge. Uh, any sort of hit or any sort of um, Panzerfaust coming his way. Artillery as well coming on in, trying to stop the decap, but too late. We're already at one VP so, uh, going with Von Ivan and none with him, so it's going to start ticking down. Kobol needs to start being aggressive, but Great Tellermine kills Kobol's. Actually, it's killed a lot more of his armor than the Panzer IV, which I find hilarious, but anyway. Right now, they're using MG to keep the infantry back. There's another MG on the other point, And we got the Panzer IV in mid. Right now, it looks like Kobol will lose this. But, that being said, in the defense, uh, Von Ivan lost a lot of his Ostrup in just trying to hold the line and keep Kobol back. Again, if Kobol had a little bit more time or a normal game, I think he would win this in terms of just because I feel like Von Ivan's been losing a little bit more units. And right now, the infantry game is a little more siding with Kobol. But... In this Chaos Krieg, where we're talking about half VPs, Von Ivan takes the win. Very, very well. Very good game, all things considered. Uh, very good job. Anyway, let's double check to see what happens. Well, in the After Action Report. But yeah, really good game overall. Alrighty, anyway. So, let's double check the After Action Report, guys. Uh, right now, we're looking at Kobol. Uh, with actually more kills. And again, that makes sense because the Ostrupin have more in overall... Um, they, they have more in um, overall uh, population. Six-man squads compared to four. So yes, they're going to get more kills. But again, good job getting a, a you know decent positive KD. Uh, Von Ivan definitely lost a bit more, but got more damage. Again, more likely because of the fact there were two Valentines. You had the AC. You had all, you had all these uh, vehicles and stuff like that. Plus a lot more uh, stronger, better infantry. So when the, they lose a model or something it's a lot more impactful let's double check their overall mvps overall mvp infantry section with 79 kills pretty damn good job they again i they only lost one i gotta give up to kobol for doing such a good job with keeping his units um uh like for for the most uh, for most of that game kept units alive did very well with his uh aggression when Von Ivan started to take a lead, he did a fierce counterattack and really started putting pressure there. Um, yeah, just a really, really good job overall. Again, great counter snipe. Uh, overall, maybe that should have came a little sooner in order to counteract the sniper, but I get why he didn't want to do that because, again, you still want to get that Valentine tank and AC to counteract 222 and stuff and getting a sniper before you get those other units could lead you up to uh, a uh, vulnerability. Now, the Ostrupin did get as many kills, about 32. The sniper almost, one sniper got as many as the Ostrupin, but as well, for Von Ivan's sake, uh, the number of deaths were also really low. So, good job with the preservation. Um, oh, Marcel, absolutely. No worries, man. Hey, I'm glad you enjoy your sub. But yeah, overall, a uh, really good game. Really good game. Uh, just a solid uh, opening bash. And again, that was 22 minutes, so that's pr actually pretty, I mean... In, in the grand scheme of things for a lot of these 1v1 games, 
I think like 20, 30 minutes is about average. I want to, no, thir, no, no, I, I take that back. 30 minutes is about average. So it being half and only being 22, actually pretty shocking. So that tells you that was actually a pretty good game. Anyway, uh, so that's going to be it for game one. We're going to be jumping into uh, game two between Von Ivan and them in just a moment. Hello, everyone. This is Grayshot17. I'm bringing you another Code 2 tournament replay. This is the second game between Von Ivan and Kobol. Uh, right now, we're back on the same map, Langreskea. I know I'm butchering that uh, map. It's fine. Kobol has gone with the Austria this time. Uh, let's see if the Vermox tactics are a little better suited for him. Meanwhile, Von Ivan is going with the Americans. So, uh, I know a lot of people have also uh, pointed to Ostrupen, but it looks like Kobol has decided, no, I will not do Ostrupen. If I had to guess, he's going to go German Infantry Doctrine to really buff up his infantry. Um, but, we'll see. Right now, Von Ivan has gone with Mechanized Company. And he, we're already seeing a vehicle, a military truck in development. I am, I'm super pumped. Um, for those who don't know and are not new or uh, who don't watch my content, one of my friends, one of my one of my great friends, his, his name's Ace, has literally uh, coined the phrase uh, the uh, the fuck Jeep because he will get this thing and then he'll add in a cavalry rifleman and because of the how much damage the cavalry rifleman does and then you add in of course their ability to get additional weaponry like Thompson's, you you add that to this truck and literally it will mow down units. So, uh, so quickly that a unit cannot get a Panzerfaust off if it's uh, if done correctly. So I'm curious to see if Von Ivan knows of this legendary move and will use the military truck in a similar way. But I guess we'll have to find out. Good job though by Von Ivan just rushing his rifleman right into the building. Making sure that he can, of course, do as much damage as possible and delay Kobol from advancing. Kobol, by the way, going Spearhead Doctrine. A lot of good sport weapons and a tiger. But remember, this is the Chaos Krieg, which means one thing and one thing only. Uh, a lot of late, uh, uh, late vehicles that you might see in other tournament games may not be able to come up. Not because, of course... You know, you don't want to have them come up. It's simply because of the fact that they will not have the time to come up. Because we only have 250 VPs. So, that Tiger, which typically could come out about halfway mark, was, might come out literally at the last second of this game. So, we'll see if he's able to deploy a Tiger in the nick of time. I mean, okay, to be fair, if this was literally like Code 2, like five months ago, and we had the, was it the 12-minute King Tigers and Tiger Aces, then... Yeah, okay, we would see it, but, that, you know, that, that that's kind of been changed a little bit. Also, military truck, as you can see here, capturing territory. Win-win. Meanwhile, it looks like Rifleman trying to do what they can. MG, though, opening fire. If the Rifleman moves out of cover, he's done. He's going to be immediately suppressed and pushed back. So, going to be a situation where most likely... Yeah, while the Rifleman is going to do quite a bit of damage, I think the MG will prevail, but we'll need to pull back. So, anyway, trucking an upgrade with the 50 cal, Rashlon pulling on back. Already putting down some barbed wire to delay the Grandiers from getting in some good cover, or at least on the point. Grandiers as well, trying to hit those units. Uh, territory is not connected anymore, as we can see. This entire lane has been caught off by a great uh, placement by uh, Kobol. So he decapped that point, recapped it for himself, and now the fuel and uh, the munitions, which now is going over to Kobol, and another capture point are all going nowhere. They are not connected. Very good job there. Very, very good job. Grandier is capturing much uh, more territory, while Rifemen are on the left-hand side trying to gain more VPs. Uh, Von Ivan actually taking the first opening blow, but so far doing decently well. We have Cowie Rifemen coming on in again. They get those Thompsons, but the big thing is they get satchels. They get the anti-armor satchels, which can, <laughs> well, uh, do an incredible thing of just blowing an engine's uh, engine to smithereens and causing them to literally just have to slowly but surely go back to base, if they can make it back at all. We also have a lieutenant, so most likely I'm assuming Von Ivan going with his Stuart. I mean, if we could see Stuart on the field, that would be incredible. Uh... Again, we've seen Vaud Ivan use it very, very well in the past. So, hopefully, uh, and again, and for those who don't know, like, how good it was, um, Vaud Ivan was able to kill a Panzer IV with the Stuart in the enemy base while the Panzer IV was still at, I think, a quarter health? Or, like, a half health? Something like that? 
It's one of the most amazing clips I've ever had. But yes, uh, his Stewart gameplay is very, very good. So Koble's going to have to really bring it if he's going to want to take on that unit. As well as this military truck, which is doing pretty well so far. It's providing a lot of good support, taking some territory. And as you can see, right now Koble went from having a good chunk of the map down to pretty much barely having territory in front of his base. Nice job though, Armor Piercing Rounds will quickly push back military truck. However, unfortunately for the British... Um, they will be taken here. Um, Kimbo, I'm not entirely sure. I, I'm assuming Lingreska was the game that they're supposed to be choosing. Uh, for those who don't know, the brackets are currently live, so let me uh, verify that for a second. Going over, we can see here. Uh, let's see. For the map pool. Okay, so let's see. Uh, they, I'm assuming because Von Ivan won, it would be his choice again? Yeah, um, I, I'm not 100% sure, because right now it says Lingruska and then Nexus and Bearmark, so actually that could be wrong as well, could have to be, uh, yeah, I'm actually unsure on that, interesting, okay, I don't know. Yeah. I'm actually unsure about why that would be the case they're back on this map. Yeah, the Jeep is dead. Unfortunately, it looks like it died uh, over here. I was just trying to look at the stats because actually Kimbo brings up a good point. I don't think they're supposed to be on Lagreska or, or Lagreskaya. So, yeah, just one of those things where it's like I'm unsure what exactly... they're supposed to be doing here alrighty well if that's the case Koble's really gonna be happy because right now he is a bit of a back foot right now even though he did kill the military truck we do have a Stuart now on the field and moving on in so he's charging forward with the light tank pushing on in all right so I will alert the mods uh, to this Alright, so I, I pinned the mods to let them know. Hopefully... Alright, hopefully that they get a heads up and can cancel this map if that is the case. I mean, luckily this is a shorter game, so if they are on the wrong map, at the very least... Because I'm a, I want to say I'm like five minutes behind. Um, at the very least, it's not too much of a like strain. It's not like they had an hour-long game, a grueling game. Uh, but yeah, it, it will unfortunately not be great to whoever wins or possibly wins this game. Anyway, Lieutenant doing pretty well against the Pioneer Squad close range, even though Pioneer does good close range. 2-2-2 two, 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 backing them up as well. Rashlon's coming on in. He's going into the building. I'm assuming he's doing that because the Pioneer Squad is busy. Grandier Squad, uh, I guess trying to be stopped by the Stewart, but alas, not today. Yep, now the lieutenant ran away, so he's using the flamethrower on the rear echelon squad. And uh, I think he's about to lose the rear echelon squad. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. He got him! Rifleman kind of blocked his retreat, so great shot there. Alright, we got Calvary Rifleman now with Thompson's coming on in. Oh, at least he has an ambulance healing his man back at base. Does... Okay, he does have medical facility as well. Good job there. Pack gun is on the field trying to help out with the Stuart, uh, which is getting some heals. So it looks like it did take a hit. 222 two, two is trying to hold back the rifleman, and it looks like they're working pretty well. They're holding back the enemy and doing a really good job at holding that VP, which is, again, putting pressure on Von Ivan. So good job there. Um, unfortunately, Kobol's not getting a ton of resources. Uh, not at all, so, yeah, his dream of getting a Tiger tank is gonna be short-lived, literally. Um, so, Rifleman, though, are pushing with the echelons on the right. We got the Stuart backing up the Lieutenant. I don't know how effective that's gonna be, especially if he doesn't have grenades, but... We'll see. Right now, the Grandiers are in cover. Lieutenant is being shredded on the road. 
Pack gun moving on in. Might try to fire through the brush. No, he's trying to line up a shot. The Grenadier should be fine, though. Lieutenant's better at close range than long. So, his best shot at killing that unit already passed him. All right, Stuart opening fire. Right through the brush. Really great job here. Five on Ivan. Firing through. Pack gun, though, returns fire through the brush. Oh, my God. Yes, Stuart, uh, but nice cheeky move. Actually, we'll push that thing back and request... Uh, Require immediate repairs. Now, it looks like the riflemen are just trying to quickly decap territory. And with this being taken, if he can decap it, if he can, that will literally cut off a huge portion of territory under Koval's uh, side. So, again, now Koval. Oh, no. It's still connected. The VP. He needs the VP. Oh, that, I mean, if he, okay, if he, now he gets the VP, he'll be in a good position. But Pack Gun will get it. I thought, he, because he couldn't get the VP in time, I think there might be a second, they'll lose it, but honestly, it's not going to be all that big of a deal. Should be totally fine, all things considered. Yep, and there we go. We're currently seeing now that everything is uh, connected, so Cobalt doesn't need to worry. Meanwhile, Stuart and the Lieutenant with a bar and bazooka. That's interesting. Usually I see, like, especially with uh, specialization, so you have one or the other. Jack of all trades is not something that... Uh, is great, but is feasible. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, we have a jack of all trades lieutenant coming on in. Hopefully, he can flank the pack. Does he have grenades yet? Do, do, does Navana Ivan has, of course, the upgrade to get the bar, but he doesn't have grenades. Great shot, though, with the pack firing straight through. Rashlan's, though, trying to take the territory. MG will suppress. Stuart needs to back on up. Pioneer being pushed back. Sniper moving on in. Not as effective as the last game, Sniper. Unfortunately. We're not... Ju we're, we're just simply not seeing that high kill count Sniper that Von Ivan brought to the table last game. Alright. Let me verify with the mods. All right, but yeah, uh, oh, I just got clarification. All right, so anyway, uh, MG opening fire. And by the way, I got confirmation they are on the right map. So for those who don't know, uh, the every uh, everyone, currently we are on the right map. So no need there, everything's all good. Uh, unfortunately, the 222 might not be good. Stuart really trying to dive it, but Pack 40 saves it. Oh, never mind. Pack 40 did not save it. But he did kill that, so awesome job. Uh, unfortunately, Von Ivan definitely losing a lot more than that 222's cost. So, ooh, a win for Co uh, Cobalt, definitely. And with the uh, forces kind of being suppressed and held back for the most part, I think Cobalt's about to take a huge portion of territory. Um, especially with the Americans on the retreat. Now, Von Ivan at least was using his resources very well. All of his units have uh, very good upgrades and uh, also have some good veterancy to them. So that's a positive. At least he has a good fighting force. But Kobo has way more support. He has double MGs, double packs, a sniper, and now a lot of grenadiers. If I have to assume why he's doing that, again, this is this is me being uh, putting on my conspiracy hat. Uh, Kobo, let's double check. Yeah, no. I get. I. I'm assuming no. He's just can't. He, I was gonna say. I. Th I thought Koval might be trying to rush for something. Simply not the case. He's just using his manpower the best he can and trying to make sure the armor is countered. But with the Stuart dead, uh, Von Ivan's gonna be delayed in terms of getting sent armor, as he's. I think just barely now in range. Yeah, he just got the lieutenant, not to lieutenant major. So yeah, it's going to be a little while before we see a Sherman or anything like that. At least a few minutes. But he, I, again, we can see here Koval's definitely not in a good situation to get something in that amount of time because of the amount of resources that he's been cut off from. So having double packs is a good uh, good resource to make sure he can hold that stuff back. Does that wish love a bazooka? All right, sure. Let's just give let's just give all the guys everything. Also, how are you missing with a bazooka? It's a giant tube with a rocket. Anyway, MG gets in the building fast enough. Un Again, no grenade upgrade, but he's used the upgrades well, so I can't denounce Von Ivan in that way. 
Uh, Rifleman, though, pulling on back. Sniper, 16 kills. All right, there we go, Sniper. Kicking it back into high gear. Doing a good job there. Great stun shot. Stops Rifleman. It tracks a lot of the MG to open fire and continue the suppression. The 50 cal, though, will counter along with the lieutenant. But, hey, that's fine. Um, he delayed the capture. And that's going to put Von Ivan into a negative... Uh, well, because he's under 100 VPs. Well, you have Kobol sitting very comfortably at 185. So even if Ron Ivan does get some territory, Kobol's not really sweating all that much. His forces are pretty much about to come back in full swing. Meanwhile, Von Ivan, a lot of his forces are down. They aren't in the best state. So yes, they can win maybe a small battle here or there. As soon as the Grenadiers and Sniper comes back in, he's going to start losing a lot of territory. So I think it's going to be short-lived, but I think Kobol is going to quickly take back a lot of this territory. Especially because Von Ivan doesn't... I mean, like, okay, he's about to get the Sherman. Oh, Major Artillery is about to hit the building. Get out! All right, got it on time. Good, good, good. The building might have some issues, but hey, he's fine. Well, there goes the building. That could have been better. Ugh. Anyway, Grenadiers opening fire, slowly pushing back the 50 cal. Right now, Rifleman moving on in. Again, two of those, yeah, sure, can beat one Grenadier squad. But we also have the Sniper close by, and along with a bunch of other Grenadiers that can possibly move on in. As well as Grenadiers just pushing close to Von Ivan's base, because they can try to go for the cutoff. But Sherman is now on the field, and hopefully he can chomp on some enemy forces in the nick of time. Because, yeah, right now we're about to see a... Possible triple German VP cap, which for Von Ivan, under 100 VP, that's a death sentence. So, yeah, he's going to want to ch uh, change it up pretty quickly. Oh, boy. Let's see. Koval, by the way, is not at uh, is only at phase two. He's not phase three and does not have the heavy Panzer Corps. He only has uh, that. Well, of course, Von Ivan has upped the, Sherm uh, upped the Americans to their highest potential. Pack guns need to quickly maneuver over to the left, and they are doing so as fast as they can. He has a Verity 2 one, so hopefully he can do a special on that Sherman. Keep it maybe pinned for a little bit longer for a second round from that packed open fire. At the very least, he gets one good shot. Second shot. Third shot. Sherman could die here. Hold on. Nope, he did hold fire, so they couldn't identify. Nothing. No recon long range. So, with that, he's able to get out. And yeah, he got the upgrade for the 75, uh, for the, uh, bulldozer. So for those who don't know, it, this will still allow the Sherman to have its main weapon. So it's not losing, you're not going to get the 105 bulldozer, uh, issue where it's great howitzer versus infantry, but then you're sacrificing anti-armor. This unit has both anti-armor and it also has explosive rounds. Sure, I think the 105 does a bit more damage. Still, uh, the explosive rounds can do quite a bit against the infantry. So it's a great use as well as just having additional armor. So great job with that attachment. Anyway, Calvary Rifleman coming on in. These Grand Ears, I'm going to be honest, don't stand a chance. And yeah, need to pull back. He was trying to stay there long enough to decap the point. Not worth it if you're about to lose it. Calvary, especially with the Thompsons, could quickly demolish it. Now luckily he does have some long range components to it. I think he has at least one bar, as you can see from the building. So he is opening fire. Now that Pioneer Squad does have 11 kills. So he does want to get out of there and get the heck back. But they did what they need to. They held the unit back and they allowed some additional forces to come in in the nick of time. We also have now double MGs. Uh, double 50 cal. Oh, I'm sorry. No, an MG42. He stole one of them from Kobo. I didn't even realize that. But good snap. Or a snag. But yeah, right now we're seeing uh, MG setting on up. Great ears could just go around, but... We'll see. Maybe uh, he'll be unable to. Sniper getting a great shot. 23 kills on that one. Panzer IV is now on the field, so no Tiger. But the question is, will the Panzer IV beat a Sherman, especially a Sherman, with the Bulldozer attachment? Now he's on explosive rounds, and that Grandier squad's going to make a quick retreat. A dash back to base, uh, as long as some riflemen. We don't... Oh, never mind. We have Calvary coming back in. Sherman playing it safe, being uh, farther back. But Pack Gun opening fire gets a great shot. He is going to pull on back. Panzer IV going to give chase. Misses the second shot. Panzer IV going in. Bounces off the Sherman, but the Pack 40 stuns it. Calvary coming on in. He may not be paying attention to the Calvary. Calvary 
is close enough. To, they will throw the satchel. The heat-seeking satchel was thrown, and the Panzer IV is about to explode. Great job right there. The, the Panzer IV is now crippled. Now, in case you're wondering, well, great shot. Why doesn't the Sherman give chase? Again, he has to deal with the pack first. Luckily, the cavalry upgrade with the bar has the long-range components to keep the pack away. Panzer IV now uh, having to rely on a sniper. Yeah, maybe for recon for the pack 40 as well as to slowly diminish that. They're healing very close to the front. Okay. Sniper very low. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait, no. He's fine. I would say very low on caution. He does, he's throwing it carefree. Uh, holding again the American infantry at bay. But, hey, it worked. Sherman, though, is coming on in. Panzer IV still backing on up. Where's that pack? Oh, it's healing back at base. Sherman is dropping smoke on the MG. He's trying to get close with the bazooka team in order to take it out. But, yeah, got to give it to Von Ivan. Right now, he's also kind of pinned... A lot of uh, Koble's forces in his base. Koble could break out if he, you know, put mustered his forces together. But with the Panzer IV kind of down, he's being very reserved in terms of trying to keep that unit at bay. Also, one of the Great Deer squads did die. I forgot to mention that. Um, Rifleman pulling on back. We have some strike coming. Oh, we have recon coming on in. And a major artillery as well. Major, though, not at veterancy. So we're not seeing a higher level of explosive action from it. Sniper on standby, up to, tw wait, 29 or 30 kills? 29 kills, very good. Panzer IV, though, back in action. Bazooka team, though, opening a fire. Misses and hits the MG. Okay, sure, why not? Also, I'm surprised we haven't seen the upgrade for this. But, again, Von Ivan maybe trying to give his infantry better upgrades than other things. Uh, sniper wearing down the 50 cowl along with the Grandiers. Oh, sorry, the MG42. Um... Which is hitting the pack. Panzer IV does get penned by the Sherman. Uh, the building, by the way, has the MG 50 cal. So that's going to suppress. Oh, my God. That you Oh, my God. That house is going to collapse. Oh, no. Wait. How is it not? Okay. That was lucky. I have no idea how that building didn't collapse. But okay. I get... Uh... Hey, good job there. Sherman backing on up. Right now, middle is uh, secured. And again, good job on Von Ivan. He's managed to go from literally a like a 100-point deficit and literally cut it in half. And also doing quite a bit. Nice job with the 50 cal and the, the American infantry. Just shredding a lot of these forces. The Grenadiers have a lot of work in front of them and unfortunately even at veteran c3 with mg42 they're just not able to compete with a lot of the american forces double pack though on standby in case the sherman comes back around panzer four is very low I, it'll probably will take at least two shots from the sherman to kill it but at the very least that will delay the panzer four you know moving on to the front and as well we can see here that von ivan is deciding you know what i'm getting another sherman that is what i need right now is that the best move? Well, I, I would say so. Um, the one thing I will, the only thing I would counter is the fact you could get the 76 millimeter Sherman. Um, I'm not entirely sure how that how that that unit though is received with the community. I, I've heard middling things about it, so he may just feel more comfortable getting a Sherman. And you, having it switch between explosive rounds and armor piercing. That may be better suited for him. Now, I will say this. Von Ivan is down in terms of his overall army size compared to Kobol. Which is now you're starting to see it as Kobol starts to try and try to push out to grab some additional territory. And uh, Von Ivan having a little trouble just with the amount of forces everywhere. But good job here. He's still getting a ton of resources. 58 munitions, 36 fuel. He has plenty of resources to get armor. Meanwhile, Koble, by the way, who has not upgraded to Escalate Battle Phase 3, uh, barely has 100 fuel. Like, he's just above that. So, it's one of the situations where Koble is going to take a little bit more time before he gets a Panzer IV. Meanwhile, the Sherman's like, all right, cool, I'll, we'll, we'll grab a second one. I mean, we already had a Stuart as well. So, think about the deficit that Von Ivan was at that he had to overcome and still doing very well. Now, it looks like Koble is going to get Stug to really combat the, the Shermans. 
And luckily, he does have the double VPs right now. So that's helping him. Um, Von Ivan grabbing one. Sherman is getting healed in the back corner. He could try a big push. But again, we have to worry about those packs. The packs could easily ch turn the tide. Now, the cavalry charging forward, trying to throw another satchel. Love it. Great explosive round shot. And the American infantry going to shred that veteran C2 MG. Great kill right there. Um, so that's one support weapon around. Major calling in artillery right on the Panzer IV. And also the MG and everything else there. That's going to force him back. All right. I'm, be I'm being told in chat the 76 millimeter is actually good. Apologies. But uh, Von Ivan doesn't care. But he's doing a dive against the Panzer IV. Dropping smoke on the packs. Great play right there. And the Shermans. Both with bulldozers. Knock out the Panzer IV. Pack guns trying to kill the Shermans as they retreat. We have a Stu coming in as well trying to finish them off. Pack gun though. Explosive rounds on the pack guns. Sherman. Oh, they have smoke on them. Stu might get a final shot. Great explosive round shot as he turns the corner. And uh, the shrubs might prevent a clear shot at him. Oh my god. This is... Koval's hopes and dreams are going down quickly unless he can hold on to that territory. And right now, he is not. His forces have been absolutely demolished. The Shermans have escaped, except for one. Great Panzerfaust, I believe, on this one. Uh, yes, Panzerfaust. Good, good, good. But... Right now, I think that Kobol's lost too many men at too many areas. But again, I, that's Sherman dropping smoke and moving on in. Great play by Von Ivan. Really good play. Major pulls back. Uh, Veritzi 2. Sniper, 45 kills. Okay, never mind. Kobol had a bit of a, uh, a rough start, but has managed to really turn the tide with the, uh, with the sniper in terms of making it very, very good. And it's last longer than uh, Von Ivan's sniper last game. Riflemen are opening fire easily, pushing back the Grenadiers. Stu trying to do what it can, but it's not meant to fight infantry all that much, so we'll do a little, not a lot. Right now, Pioneer Squad opening fire as well, trying to hold back and grab that territory, but alas, not today. Actually, might kill it if he turned around, but I guess he's focused on the Grenadiers. He wants out their VP. A uh, pack gun moving on in, not really much of an armor. No, no armor to really speak of right now, at least on the front, but at least he's ready for it. Oh, he's just firing at it. Or is he trying to kill the 50 cal? I think he's trying to kill the 50. Yeah, he's trying to kill the 50 cal. Good use. That way the Americans can't grab back. Major's grabbing this. He needs to grab mid now. Uh, Sherman's there lying in wait. Pack might be able to cause some issues for the Sherman. As that's the last thing he wants to fight. But he might also drop smoke and just direct fire. They'll capture that piece of territory. He needs to capture left. 50 cal's there. So I... Oh, explosive rounds. Kill the pack. Cobalt tried, but alas... And put up a damn good fight. I'll give it that. But unfortunately, that's going to be it. Von Ivan coming out ahead after a fantastic double Sherman Blitz. Really good job there. And yeah, really good play, all things considered. Uh, let's look at the after action report, shall we? What do we got here? Cobalt, more damage. That makes sense. He versed a lot more armor. The Stuart double Shermans. Um, Von Ivan, not so much. He didn't have to fight. Too much armor, all things considered. I mean, yeah, the Panzer IV. And you also had, like, the 222 and the Stug. But overall, far less. Uh, more kills from Kobol. A little surprising on that note, actually. A little more surprising. But, uh, Von, and Von Ivan definitely took some casualties. But uh, let's double check to see how the performance of the Frontline Infantry did. Uh, American forces, only 44 kills. Um, I mean, to be fair, they're Grenadier, so they have less men. But still, that's, again, did pretty well um, without losing a single rifleman squad. Actually, I don't think he lost any frontline infantry. I could be wrong on that. Oh, he lost Rashlons. Don't care about Rashlons. It's like, yeah, we lost them. It's fine. Um, join me, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. You can join. Um, uh, but yeah, nothing else to die. It's a really good preservation there. Uh, the armor, yeah, I lost a truck and the steward and the sheriff. Well, we're, you know, you know, it's it's fine. It's fine. We got many, we got plenty more of those things at the factory. Wait, there's men inside of those? Oh. Anyway, uh, Kobo, on the other hand, lost quite a bit. His sniper was on point. His sniper got 51 kills. Hot damn! You gotta give credit to where credits due in that in that for that. Hello, welcome to the third game of this tournament. We are on a new map. 
that is the map of Nexus. Right now, it's Kobol versus Von Ivan, with Kobol down 0-2. to two. But that doesn't mean Von Ivan is in the clear. Uh, Kobol has delivered decisive blows against Von Ivan multiple times. So hopefully that will continue. Um, so... Yes, I'm, I'm very pumped, very ecstatic to see how this third game go. Uh, to my surprise and my shock, and also probably no one else's, uh, this is a best of five. So, yes, because of the shorter rounds, they are increased the number of games. So, we are all ready, we are set, and hopefully everything is good to go. So, um, what does that mean? Well, quite simple. Uh, right now, uh, if Von Ivan wins, he wins. If Kobo wins... Unfor uh, we have possibly two more games at our disposal. So, Kobol, I wish you the best of luck. Now, Kobol was probably closer uh, to dominating Von Ivan in his first game. And we're going back to the basics. We're going with the British Infantry versus Von Ivan's Vermach. With Ostrupen making a return. Yes, we have more Ostrupen. Because this isn't the Commander Terminator, we can have multiple variations. So, pretty nice that we can start seeing uh, the... Ostrupen back in action, as well as a sniper backing them up. Now, the question is, will each of these players have learned from their last occasion uh, from fighting each other? So, what I mean by that is, is there going to be a situation where, because Kobold knows what Von Ivan's strategy is, they might be able to counteract the sniper? At the very least, it looks like the sniper retreating back to base from the infantry section, already off to a good start for Kobold. Uh, still going with the basic tactic of four-man infantry section. By the way, thank you for the kind words in chat. Uh, my uh, favorite vehicle in this game, uh, of, of course, it's going to be a T-34. Love it. A hundred percent. But that's just me. Although Sturm Tiger uh, is a second. Anyway, Pioneers moving on in uh, against the infantry section. But the infantry section being like, I'm sorry, no, not today. Easily pushing them back. Pioneers, I'm assuming going to hide in the building? I, I get, not a bad idea. Again, just be like, okay, I'm going to hide here. Just going to chill. Uh, make sure I'm okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see. And, yeah, right now, infantry section going in for a cutoff position on Von Ivan. That will be huge. Ostrupen, though, going to try to get some cover. Counteract again. Some good cover positions here should allow him to use his bonus. Or he just runs in and infantry section immediately retreat. That works, too, I guess. Um, so, oh, Sniper was there, and he does miss the shot on retreat. Ostrupen going on in, so a small push going in mid. Right now, we do have a bunch of infantry section buying cover, trying to hold back the Ostrupen. Also going for a cutoff, but this one will be successful. Gets a good cutoff. Von Ivan cuts those resources pretty effectively. So, awesome to note. Um, right now, as well, infantry section pulling on back. And we can see here, yeah, definitely the Ostrupen are trying to keep pushing. He has three squads of that. But what's this? Universal Carrier? Oh, yes, boys. We got ourselves a tactic to counter exit Sniper. These two boys got themselves a very powerful, very strong light vehicle. That hopefully can take out the Sniper and maybe even burn and or MG the Ostrupen to death at longer ranges. There is a decent amount of cover options here, but that Vickers machine gun bonus could be super beneficial for trying to suppress the infantry going from cover to cover or shredding the infantry as they move um, from any position they are located. Sure, they're in cover here, but this one's out in the open, and yeah, even the carrier decides that's a better target. Goes after, pushes him back, and another good play right there. Um, sniper, though, very low. Uh, again, not great on health. Luckily, Mr. Carrier, again, love this. He's actually going at an angle to try to o overwhelm the Ostrupen. As, yes, they're in cover, but it may not be as effective as he wants it to be. So they're going to be pushed back. And yes, he is. Absolutely. Ostrupen very low. Universal Carrier might get a kill here. Hold on. Uh, nope. Instead, he's going to go after something else. Or, I guess, just turn around. Infantry section in the meantime going to grab some territory. We have a bunker at base to heal his troops because they did take a number of really good hits from Kobol. And let's see. Von Ivan, did you get an upgrade? Yes, Battle Phase 1 has been complete, so we can get Light Mechanized Company. We also have a Teller Mine very close to detonating the Universal Carrier. But alas, not today. And looks like Universal Carrier is going to back up into a better position. Unfortunately, not able to grab that point. Unfortunate, but Universal Carrier will keep the Ostrupen in cover. 
and should win that fight pretty easily. So, yeah, overall not too shabby. Although, infantry is actually very low. Let's not lose one. Just out of the ordinary, please. Thank you. Great. Um, armored cars being developed. 222 being developed. So, overall, if I had to say right now who is the lead or who's doing better, I'm going to give it to Koble because I feel like he has the better infantry on the field. Um, sure, with a sniper, yes, you can give an edge to Ostrupen. But I think overall, you're, you're going to be seeing a lot more benefits for um, right now Koble, especially with the new infantry and uh in term I'm sorry, with the infantry support like the AC and Universal Care with the upgrade, especially if he starts getting veterans here on this thing. But we'll have to see. Right now we got ourselves the Oh god, where's it going? Oh, it's going down here. I was like, what? Yeah, he's grabbing territory. Um, although there's a lot of infantry section ready to uh, right behind the AC, or right right next to it. So we could see a big British counterattack. Right now, good job on Von Ivan. He's about to triple cap all the VP, so that will stop his slow uh, spiral. Sniper, very low. AC could dive. There is a mine there. AC does realize that. He does not care, though. He is diving. There's no... There, Yeah, there's nothing to counter him. He's going to... Come on, ACs. Coaxo gets the kill, and Von Ivan loses his sniper early on. A big loss. He's going to get another one. But again, that could have been used for a pack or something else. Giving Koble a good amount of momentum. And hopefully, and there's nothing stopping him from capping this out. So really great play. Um, someone mentioned the vision on the 222. Fair point. But also, that o it only applies if... Oh, God. Does he know about the mine here? I don't think he does. Oh. Well... <laughs> Von Ivan got his revenge. Von Ivan got his revenge. Um, the sniper is now back on the field, and the AC is dead. So we're in a situation where we're back to square one. Except one counterpoint: the AC, sorry, not AC. The two 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 has nothing to worry about in terms of, well, uh, anything to kill it. Because right now, the best thing that can kill it is the Royal Engineer Squad, and I feel like this two 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 is good enough to where he can stay away. So he can run circles around infantry like he's, well, doing right now and just, you know, kill everything. Not great. Not great. Uh, could be better. Absolutely. Also could be a lot worse. Oh my god. Did he really get a T grenade off? Oh my god. Von Ivan. Von Ivan. Oh well, if he shoots enough rounds into it, he could weaken the 222 as well as just throw another AT grenade. He just needs to get in within 15 seconds and throw another. I don't know. I think he can, but he's now just stuck there as your engineer squad just waits. Yep, he's going for it. He's going for the cover. Oh my god. Can he actually kill this 222 with just AT grenades? Oh my. Come on, Koble. Come on, Koble. He has the munitions for it. Uh, it's still alive. Barely. A FG section might need to come over to save it. We have a supply drop inbound, so he's going to try to get some additional weaponry, support equipment. Meanwhile, while they're trying to kill the 222, uh, there has actually been a good amount of territory is grabbed by Von Ivan. So, great job there. At least grabbing all that territory. Oh, my God. Infantry section so close. Well, you don't have to worry about the 222 anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, it's now gone. So, uh, unfortunately for Von Ivan... Uh, the two, uh, two, 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 two. <laughs> the, the AEC is now back up and ready to go. So that sniper needs to really worry about being chased down once again. But luckily, again, as long as he has the Ostrupen playing defense, he should be fine, all things considered. Will that happen? A little unsure. Just because I, I'm unsure is if, um, uh, if he can really lock down the AEC. He only has three units. He does have a pack, so I'll give him that. But, like, that AC has been so aggressive and dodging a lot of shots that I'm like, okay, maybe. The best thing he has is those Teller Mines, which I don't think he destroyed the one down there. So, I'm assuming that's the original one. And if that is the original one, hopefully he knows it's still there and didn't forget. Because, you know, the last thing you want is to forget about a something that could literally kill your unit. Pack Gun, though, pushes back the AC. 
Uh, Ostroop and trying to hold the line, but with the cover gone, uh, yeah, they're going to be quickly killed by the infantry section. Did that, did that piece of debris just do circles over here? Am I, am I crazy? Okay. Anyway, infantry section pushing down south. Pack gun being hit, actually, by infantry section from behind. Very good play right there. They're about to get to battle phase two, but Von Ivan's still not even close to getting any sort of armor out. Uh, Koble then is going to pretty much have a the dominant vehicle on the field in terms of the AC, in terms of like countering anything that Von Ivan can throw up until like a Stug or Pouncer 4. Even a Stug might be a risky venture just because the AC could do circles around it if he doesn't have protection. Von Ivan's been pretty good about having his units well supported, but that is something to note that... Any sort of tank destroyer that has a, a, a turret that can't move could be easily turned. Hell, I've done it with a T-70, so it, it's it's something you could absolutely do. Anyway, right down south, again, good capture, though, uh, by the Brits. So, again, Koble going to put a, a little more pressure on Von Ivan, who has the lead right now. He's like... Not comfortable, but he has a decent lead in terms of uh, between himself and Koble. So if he loses a little bit of territory and takes a little bit of time for him to regroup and counterattack, that's okay. You you still got plenty of uh, you, you still got a little bit of time in order to build up to really deliver that smashing blow. Because the last thing you want is to slowly bleed to death. What you want to do is like again cover the wound, but prep yourself for the next attack so you can really make it hurt. Anyway, armor, we have a small little convoy right now, uh, overwhelming this poor MG that's now being sent back to base. Oh boy. I know it's an MG-34, but, like, god damn. Our, it, it, it can't even hurt all of you. It, it has doesn't even have armor-piercing rounds yet. Oh well. It does take a few hits. It's gonna be fine. Ostroop and healing at base. Good amount of territory under Von Ivan's control. Keeping himself competitive with Kobol. Though, great counter-snipe by the Brits. Knocks out Von Ivan's sniper. That's the second sniper of the day Von Ivan has lost. Ah, uh, god damn. Having a rough day there, Von Ivan. Oh, well, uh, can they kill the British sniper? That's the question. Well, uh, Von Ivan would literally have to charge his infantry or get a lucky pack gun shot, which is possible. I have seen pack guns uh, somehow, like, one-shot infantry. So it is possible. Not probable, but possible. Pioneers taking the south, doing a decent job of grabbing territory and at least being competitive even with a, a pretty small army, all things considered. Sniper now being pushed by the Ostrupen, but again, not that great without them being in cover, which I will say at least they're in the ditch, so that helps. AC as well, just shredding up the Quaxel. and Universal Carrier right around the corner. So if he goes anymore, the Universal Carrier could just shred him. Great shot with the Sniper up to Baron C1 now. And yeah, the Universal Carrier is going to shred him and he's going to lose the unit. And there he goes. Now, Von Ivan is someone who could stick around for quite some time. Or he's someone who's like, uh, I'll just burn a game. I feel like in this, he might just be determined because we can see now he's getting a Panzer IV. So he has a card he could use to win this game. He has that option. The question is... Will he be able to do it? Unsure. Uh, like, I'm, I'm kind of unsure because right now we have, well, a six pounder. We have an AC. We have a sniper that could use a crit shot. We have our engineer squad. We now have five man squads for the Brits. That literally just happened. Um, so the British have it in their side that they can definitely do a lot more against a Panzer IV, but you never know. You never know. And right now, it looks like Koble is about to be triple capped right now. It's a very good job there. If he can manage that, uh, if he can manage the triple cap, then at least that would definitely shorten this game and force Von Ivan to react before he needs to. Um, the one counterpoint I will say is even with a small RV, Von Ivan has done a really good job at capturing territory. So that is one thing. So at least he's getting a good amount of resources in. But I don't think that's going to last for too much longer as the British launch a attack. Um, and they're trying to kill the pack, but pack gun managing to open fire and the MG suppressing the infantry. Sniper opening fire on the MG, blowing that man to kingdom come. Great shot though with the Panzerfaust. Oh my god, Koble, what are you doing? And both vehicles get KO'd by the Panzer IV and pack. Oh, that was a bad charge. Um, yeah, so anyway, 
Like I said, just, just, just lying in wait for the perfect opportunity. And now you have a Panzer IV gunning down the British infantry as they retreat back to base. And while I've been taking this opportunity just to murder a bunch of Brits. Oh my god! Well, there goes two units. Um. Are we going to see three? Can we see three British units dead? Can we see three? Immediately, Kobold's like, oh, I can't, I can't handle this. Pops a Valentine tank to kill the Panzer IV. He might be able to do it. Holy god, this is been a very interesting upset. Valentine misses the shot. Panzer IV might... Nope, he also misses. Valentine misses again. Six pounder coming around. Uh, no real engineers to heal that anytime soon, so don't expect that. Uh, and, and, and literally, through sheer determination and will, Von Ivan's like, oh, I'm sorry, you thought I was done? Oh, that's, that's cute. He... Someone in the comments said Von Ivan is drunk, but if so, he is the drunk master because he turned the tide like he knew, like perfectly. Like he set that entire situation up, be like, yeah, I'm going to kill two units here and then I'll go kill these other units and possibly get the sniper and all these other things. It's perfect. It'll 100% it'll, it'll, it'll happen. Anyway, unfortunately though, even with all those great hits, Von Ivan still needs to pull back because unfortunately he doesn't have a ton of frontline infantry. Panzer IV is trying to hit the infantry section. You still have the six pounder trying to line up a shot. Weirdly enough, he was trying to fire a shot through that, which I'm unsure how exactly you manage that. Royal Engineers, though, uh, are being developed. And also, we got some flares. So, again, that's going across the front. Hopefully revealing enemy uh, units. So, hopefully the six pounder and the infantry section can I hit those units. Now, again, I say this. Kobo lost quite a bit, but that doesn't mean he's done yet. He still has a good force. And if he just plays it... A little bit uh, closer to the the vest. I, I think he'll be okay. An engineer unit is ready for action. The sector has been cut off. Yeah. Right now, again, for the uh, we're currently seeing middle be it by the Brits and the flanks being taken over by Von Ivan. So right now it's close, but Von Ivan's gonna have the VP win uh, at least in right now. So he's gonna keep putting pressure on Kobol. And again, good job there. So if Kobol keeps losing territory. Uh, in terms of VPs, and yeah, he will lose this game, but the problem might be the Von Ivan doesn't have a ton of front forces, but I don't think it matters. Right now, he's done a really good job, all things considered, at taking a lot of territory, even with very few units. And right now, he's getting an Oswin to hopefully counteract a lot of those infantry sections that have been causing him so much trouble. Panzer IV as well coming on in to stop one of them in their tracks and hopefully reconnect some territory. Oh, no, infantry section might be able to decap it. Come on, decap, 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 decap. Nice. Now run, 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 run. No need to lose units because you're like, yeah, let's cap it. Panzer IV will murder you. Luckily, Six Pounder gets a great shot on the Panzer IV, getting, uh, forcing it back. Gets two great shots with the Valentine in hot pursuit. Sorry about that. All right, Panzer IV blitzes away. Six Pounder and Valentine as well, forcing it back. Artillery's coming down somewhere. I don't I don't know where. I can hear it. Oh, it's in mid. Oh, there's an MG there. So he called in the uh, concentration barrage or threw a flare. Maybe threw a flare. That's cheaper. Yeah, he okay. So I think he flew through the flare, I want to say. P point is, artillery's currently raining down to stop the VP in mid from being captured by Von Ivan. Good use. Good use of the British artillery. Anyway, Valentine Tank opening fire. Uh, Koval is now upgrading the company command post. Sniper as well, trying to do what it can with 12 kills. We do have, again, we have another sniper that might try to counter snipe. Good luck in that, Von Ivan. The thir third sniper is the charm, everyone says. Third sniper is the charm. Maybe not, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, Oswin and Panzer IV launching a major attack up north. This could be hugely detrimental. Hold on, Oswind, super close to death, gets the kill with the Valentine. Valentine needs to get the hell out, though. Panzer IV trying to line up a shot, misses by, oh my god, Valentine. That is so many shots I think is missed. It's like deja vu. Uh, really great job there. Now the six-pounder is in harm's way. Sniper pulling back after taking some hits from the Ostrupen. He's trying to throw an AT grenade. It's not going to work. He didn't damage it at all, so it's just going to ping off it. It's not going to damage the engine. 
But yeah, I would. That's a loss for Von Ivan, a hundred percent. Because, yeah, that's that's a a lot of resources to pump into a unit, and you just died. Meanwhile, Cobol's like, Cromwell boys, it's gonna be here very very soon. Uh, I mean, right now they both have a sniper, they both have a pack, and they both have Panzer IVs. The edge is still probably with Von Ivan for having more AT, but the because of his strategy of sending the Ostrup into literally middle of nowhere in order to capture territory, that's currently keeping them out of doing something like Panzerfausting armor or, or providing support for the Panzer IV and such. So I'm, I would have to give it to Kobol unless... Because Kobol's at least been a little more centralized with his armor. That screwed him over. Don't get me wrong. That's absolutely have. That has screwed him over. But... So far, it seems to be doing pretty well right now. We'll see if it comes to bite him later. Uh, Ostrup been opening fire on the six pounder, so right now it's doing okay. Sniper getting a good shot close range if she's actually gonna probably neutralize that. Yeah, the Ostrup might die. Is that railway? Is he really calling in railway? Uh, wait, is that sniper gonna be able to get out of there? Okay, it did. So, uh, what that's just gonna do is prevent, uh, any infantry and stuff from that coming through that area because they don't want it to die. My, my my guess. Sniper is currently on the point. Infantry section very close. Oh my god. Lucky shot with the Panzer forward. Sniper pushed it back. Sniper does get pushed back by the Cromwell. Pack being lit upon. Or sorry, lighting the Cromwell up. But lucky bounce. Oh my god. There's still the Teller Mine right there. They still haven't gotten rid of it. Oh, bounce again. Wow, okay. Wait, is that sniper close? Wouldn't it if they shoot the sniper? He's diving the Panzer IV. Panzer IV is in uh, 19 kills, Red C2. Bit of hot water. He does have the Armored Scourge, which seems to be paying off right now. Holy mackerel. Is that more railway? Did he really put more, more railway down in order? Oh, Von Ivan's about to win this. Great shot. The pack kills the Valentine. Panzerfaust gets him. Is this the same spot where the last one died? And the six... Oh, my God. This is the same spot where the last armored vehicles and stuff died. Railway obliterates that unit. No more rail engineers for you. Pack gun die... Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. I will reiterate this. Von Ivan is the drunken master. I, I, like, in most games, I'm like, oh, yeah, you do this or do that. That's not what I expected at all. But, uh, yeah, Cobalt, maybe don't retreat past this brush because that seems to be where all your vehicles die. Oh, my God. Should have called in Young Valentine instead of rebuilding AC. Then it would have been. Oh, Cobalt's in chat. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, Kobo, I'm gonna be honest, this is literally your cemetery for a lot of your vehicles, but you still played extremely well. You actually, I, if it wasn't for this, like, the two lucky plays that Von Ivan got, and I will say there's a little bit of luck to that from bouncing and such, you probably would have won this game, but dear lord, Von Ivan is a crafty SOB for everything he's done. He also got two snipers. Unsure why I got two snipers, but he did. Let's double check the after action report. That, that, that was some good games. That was some really good games, all things considered. So again, to both players, awesome job. After action report shows Kobol. Nice job on the kill count. Definitely being a little bit higher. Von Ivan though, again, doing a little more damage. I, again, fighting a little bit more Brit armor makes sense. Uh, let's go by personal. 51 kills. You got to give it up to Kobol though. Only lost one infantry section. So, again, re doing a really good job of keeping his units preserved up until the end with Railway. But, still, really good job there. Von Ivan, pack guns, very good job. Never lost it, never got decrewed, so I'll give him that as well, at least getting it back. And destroyed a lot of vehicles there. Um, did lose a lot of snipers, though. Let me be very clear on that. He did lose some Ostrupen as well and Pioneers and such. So, he did take a little bit more in the... To a bit more losses and I will say as well Von Ivan did do some bad dives like with the Flak Panzer and the 222 but overall he just squeaked he squeaked by in this game he absolutely did a really good job so anyway um yeah awesome work guys really great work 
Uh, great, all three were great games. Even though Von Ivan did win 3-0, Koble literally did a very good job in each and every one of those games to where there was a, there was never a time where it was a slam dunk. Koble really did a good job at matching Von Ivan blow to blow. It's just, it's hard to continuously do that with Von Ivan because as we saw in the third game, it's just like, how can you expect that? How can you play in that? But awesome to see still. Anyway, we are going to finish up with that first round. So, again, congrats to both contestants. Uh, Non-historically accurate match. <laughs> sure. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be down there. Uh, let's see. I am now going to be getting the next set of games in round two. Hello, everyone. This is Gray Shop. Before you guys go, I want to give a special shout out to my incredible patrons who's been supporting me while I've been out sick. That includes Afria, Little Koosh, Joey G240, Seth Coopers, Anton Bashara, Ion, Pyroshark, Ace, and Jacob Oswite. You guys are incredible for supporting me while I've been out trying to recover from the after effects of COVID. Thank you guys so much for your incredible support and to everyone currently watching the video. 